Yeah, that's great. Cooking and doing something. <laughs> okay, great. Very good. Well, okay, so let's get started. So we're going to talk about traveling. Of course, I know that you like traveling. And uh, well, let me ask you a question. So when you're going to uh, go on a, I don't know, uh, trip or vacation, what do you normally have with yourself? So the first thing that you take. So, for example, I don't know something like toiletries or cosmetic. I don't know something like this. Um. I am. I don't understand what you. Ah, uh, sorry. Okay, let me. Uh, so normally, when actually we're going to travel somewhere, we have a backpack or, for example, luggage or a bag. Okay, and we take our essential or necessary things in it. So I want to know what is your first necessary thing that you definitely take with yourself when you travel somewhere. Yeah, firstly, I um, discuss with my family where will we go. Yeah, uh, after that, I check the uh, te uh, the flight ticket. I uh, and I um, uh, fly. I look in. I look for uh, the size in there. And uh, the what interesting in the destination in that destination yeah yeah if you're what? interested in destination yeah, yeah. Mm, uh, then i can discuss with my husband and my children yeah yeah then okay we, and, uh, and what do you take time, yeah, what do you take with yourself? Clothes, I don't know, cosmetics, toilet So what do you take? What do you yeah, have in your luggage? I, uh -huh. I will take clothes, uh, personal thing, uh, sense thing. Well, it's me, I mean, um, brush teeth, uh, Toothbrush, uh, toothbrush. Uh, skincare, right. skincare stuff. Yeah. yeah, of course. Um, um, yeah. Yeah, this very is, good. Of course. Yeah. So we actually, we say toiletries, including something toiletries. that you use to clean your actually face by the like, toothbrush or for example toothpaste or for example shampoo or something like this let me share my screen okay yeah toiletry so the first word yeah of this lesson is toiletries so of course we need some personal thing that we normally tag with ourselves when traveling so something like and especially to use for cleaning yourself toiletries yeah. yeah toiletries yeah very good and do you normally i want to actually talk about do you normally travel light or heavy it means you have a light backpack just essential things but now you're know, some people you know different baggages and something like this so how travel light I or packing heavy. Uh, yeah, I prefer traveling light. Yeah, traveling yes. light. Okay, so of course, so we have, uh, let me write, travel light or heavy. Or we can say we pack, we pack heavy yeah well okay and the second word of this lesson currency and you know that uh when we say currency it means money 
you know, actually it's money in the form of paper and coins. So of course, usually issued by a government. So it's something like in different countries, they have different, or for example, continents countries, they have different currency. It means, you know, form of money, paper or coin, both form. So, but nowadays, do you think is it essential to, is it necessary to actually exchange your money or no, because uh, normally you have your phone with yourself and applications and something like your credit card and something like you don't need to take, for example, and exchange your money and uh, I don't know, take foreign currency. What do you think? No, we. Um, I think we. Uh, don't need to bring much currency, but yeah, uh, we should uh, bring a little. Um, yes, maybe the a change, uh, some change, uh, yeah. because we can use a uh, uh, credit card, Visa card, uh, instead of currency. But in our uh, in our trip, we still change the money before uh, um, change money into the foreign currency before traveling yeah okay well um, yeah and uh you know uh, it's better to say cash so we don't need to bring cash or have cash it means for example physical money we don't need because of course and we don't need to when we say currency it means you know our money we don't need to exchange or change mm -hmm. our money into the foreign mm -hmm. country or foreign currency and we don't need to have cash something like paper or coins because normally we use our cell phones so we don't need you know too much cash yes too much cash. yeah of course and I'm going to ask you about your local custom. So that's really interesting when you travel somewhere. Of course, there's some uh, customs, maybe the, the way that people actually behave, treat, and you know, is something like uh, the way that something is done in a particular place in different countries. For example, the different ways of greeting for example, in different countries, or I'm going to ask you, for example, if I am a tourist and I, I'm going to travel to your country, what should I know? Uh, before we go to other country, we should search uh, on the internet uh, about the local custom so that we can avoid some misunderstandings. Of course, of yes. course, very good. Mm, for example, in, um, uh, the, in the United States, uh, we uh, know how to tip, to, to give a tip when we um, to have a uh, half meal at the restaurant, Mm, or, um, in or in Vietnam, we when we uh, want to move out, move the take uh, when we want to take the food on our trip, we should uh, use your hands to. Uh, to cover the mouth when you yeah. want to use a, a stick. You stick. Hmm? Toothpick. Yeah. We say toothpick. When you want to pick toothpick. your teeth using yeah. toothpick, of course, you need to cover your oh, mouth. Yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Or wow. uh, in uh, Indian way, in India, uh, we um, have uh, rice, have a meal with 
are the hand, yeah, bear hand. Yeah, bear hand. Oh, of course. Ah, mm -hmm. so they don't use spoon uh, or, for, yes, they or for example, knife. Yes, my 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 husband and my friend said that they use uh they their hands to eat. They don't use lip uh stick. Yeah, of course. I, I, that, think, that's that's, I think that's with the local customs. Yeah, and what do you use? What do you use for eating? For example, do you use a fork and knife or spoon or what else? Chopsticks, uh, what do you use? In Vietnam? Yeah. Yes, we use all knife, forks, spoons. Yeah. Yeah. But we yeah. don't use hand. We don't use hand to. Of course, of course. And uh, let me say, uh, let me ask another question. If I travel to your country, yes. what should I do? What shouldn't I do? So you tell me, give me advice. I'm going to travel to your country. What should I do? What shouldn't I do? Yeah, you should do to, you should learn how to use, uh, how to use chopstick. Yeah, yeah. chopstick, yeah. yeah. And, and mm, Mm. Uh, wait a moment, please. Of course. I, yeah, I want to search. Yeah, great. <laughs> About your local customs, <laughs> of course. Yeah, when you go to the temple, uh, some temples in Vietnam, because Vietnam is, uh, Vietnam has a lot of temples, yeah. um, you should wear uh, the uh, treaty, you should wear the um, the um, trouser, another shot. Ah, uh, you you should wear um uh, the shirt. Mm, yeah, uh, with the with uh, uh with. So you should shirt. cover your you should cover, cover your arms. Yeah. yeah okay. Yes, so yeah, it's something. Yeah. yeah. You should wear something like t-shirt or shirt to cover your arms. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, it's it's the polite. It's ah. Yeah. Of it's course. Polite. And it's yeah. a res It uh, means you respect uh, our culture and our uh, ancestor. Ancestor. Yeah. Of course, mm. ancestors. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So with the way that I can show my respect, yeah, to the temple and, for example, to your ancestors. Great. Got it. Interesting. Well, and now, oh, shoulder season. So what the meaning of this? Okay. So normally, uh, we have some maybe month or maybe a season, a period of time that, you know, it's not peak season, 
that, you know, many travelers visit somewhere or it's not off season that no one visit. It's something like, OK, it's not like the period of time between peak season and off season. So. The period of time. Between. Peak season and off season. So, for example, in some countries, of course, it depends on the country and the area, of course. So, peak season means, you know, the time that many travel or many people visit somewhere. And off season, so the time that normally, you know, not too many travelers or visitors visit somewhere. So, and the period of time, it's there are, are, are no many people, so it's OK to visit. For example, first of all, I want to know your peak season. So most of people travel to your country to visit and you, of course, you travel and off season and shoulder season. Yeah. <clears throat> The peak seasons in my country. Yeah, of course. Is uh, on the holiday that like uh, the Tet holiday or the previous holiday, uh, yeah. independent holiday. Yeah, or the summer is the peak season. So it's something like so peak season is summer, so the weather is good and most of people travel to your country in summer. Yes. Yes, yes. OK, so this is peak season. And when is off season? The off seasons in the in the north of Vietnam, the off season is the winter. Winter. Yeah, yeah. and uh, uh, the town uh, from uh, August to uh, November when uh, the students go to school. That's the peak season, yeah. Uh, that's off, off season. Yeah. Yeah. So the and shoulder then, season. So the shoulder season would be spring and fall, right? Yes. Yeah. The shoulder season, maybe, maybe uh, spring and autumns. In yeah. The autumn. Of course, of course. Well, so actually, what do you think about? Peak season, off season, and shoulder season for you. When is the favorite time, the best time to travel? So peak season, most of travelers, many travelers everywhere. Off season, you could see no one. And shoulder season, it's like you know, they win. Yeah, I would like to go to the strongest season. So why? <clears throat> Uh, because uh, uh, the service is good, uh, then uh, the uh, flight ticket and flight tickets and um, other services uh, free is of not course. so high. Yeah, of course, affordable. Uh, yeah, affordable. Now everything is more affordable. It means reasonable price, not too high. And that is particularly uh, the people, the uh, the uh, some sightseeing, uh, uh, the interesting uh, interaction attraction side, and are not crowded. Yeah, of course, mm. of course. Yeah, of course. You mean sightseeing are not really crowded, so you can visit and you can travel everywhere easily. So, of course, got it. Well, uh, so actually, I think you like to get off the beaten track. So let me teach you something here. So, of course. Uh, actually, you like 
you like two uh, sentences that you can use. The first one to get away, to get away from the crowds. So you mean, you mean shoulder season is the best season because you can get away from the crowd. It means to escape the tourists, lots of people the tourist so this is the first one or you can say to get off the beaten track okay it means to go to less visited places means For few tourists. Go, oh, let me do something. Okay, it's not. And I can do something. Okay, now it's better. So, so I think shoulder season is the best season to travel because you can get away from the crowds or because you normally like to get off the beaten track. So I don't like to go, I don't need to the crowded place, lots of tourists, so I'd rather get off the beaten track. Okay, well, may I ask you to give me two examples using these two sentences? <clears throat> Uh, with this, uh, with this word, you you get you just of gave course, me of course, and, and of make make a sentence with this. Yeah, you. Yeah, yeah of course, make sentences. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I would like to go to Dan now. That uh, big city, uh, uh, um, uh, city. Mm, I'm I'm going to go to the on um, in in autumn because we can get away from the crowds. Mm. Great. Uh, sometimes we want to go to, uh, we would like to go to less visited places uh, because we uh, rather, we rather uh, spend, uh, spend time for uh, yeah, so let me change it a bit. Mm -hmm. So you want, <laughs> it's okay, you want to spend time away, away from the hustle and bustle. This one is really good. The yeah, hustle yeah. and bustle. Bustle of busy sites of the busy sites so you can say you know i really want to spend time away from the hustle and bustle of the busy side to get away from the crowds to get off the beaten track so i'd rather go to less visited places so it's something yeah. like this yeah Hustle and bustle, for example, when traveling uh, somewhere or, for example, when living in big cities, of course, you need to live in this hustle and bustle means crowd and noise. So this one is good. OK. Yes. OK. I want yeah. to spend time yeah. away from the hustle and bustle 
Burst of. Of. Burst of. Half, half of. Of. Burst of. Burst of. Burst of. Burst of. Burst of. T is not said. pronounced. T is not pronounced. Hustle and bustle. Uh, hustle. Hustle and bustle. Yeah. yeah. I'd rather to go to less visited places. I'd rather. Just when you say I'd rather, you don't say to. I'd rather go. Uh, I'd rather go. I'd rather to. go to. Yes. If you want to use to go, you say I would prefer to. I prefer uh, to go. I'd rather go. go. I'd rather go. Yeah, I'd rather mm. go. Yeah, very good. And oh, travel sick. Yeah, it's normally vomiting or feeling that you want to vomit because of the movement. Actually, you know that, and it normally happens when traveling. So, as I, as I am travel sick, I always avoid reading on the bus. Yes, uh, yeah. we also avoid uh, using smartphone on the car on the bus. Yes. Of course, of um, course. I, if you are, I yeah, used to be. I used to be. Travel sit when I was younger. Yeah. Great. Used to. So when traveling by bus or by car, so what? Or by plane? You used to be travel by sit yes, by car. By bus. Yeah, by, by car and by bus. Yeah. Great. But now you are not. Yes. After I read, after I studied, uh, fly away from home. I uh, yes, and then uh, when in a holiday, I in a holiday we I go home to visit my parents several times. So ah. I get used to I get the I. You got used to. I got I got used to. Um, Oh, I, I didn't get used to travel sick. Oh, oh no, I, no, I, I here said you don't, <laughs> no, here you don't need to use get because actually something is changed. So, for example, you say I used to, I used to be travel sick when I was younger, but you know, when starting and for example, university or college because of visiting my parents on holidays time to time, actually it solved. So actually I wasn't travel sick anymore and now I'm not mm. travel sick. Yeah, Yes, I wasn't travel sick yeah. anymore. Yeah, of course. Okay, well, so as you can see, uh, words, phrases that we just learned. Any questions related to these words? No. Okay, great. Well, okay, travel light, I told you. So I won't take me actually long to pack. It won't take me long to pack. I always travel light. Or you can say, you know, it takes long time to pack because I pack heavy or I travel heavy. So it's not really this one. It won't take me long to pack. Well, and avoid, you know the structure. You know, something that you normally use. Avoid doing something. Avoid eating, avoid reading, avoid, for example, using. OK, so you know that we use gerund or ing form of verbs. So I want to know what, what should you avoid doing when traveling? or when packing? Yes, I should avoid carrying too much clothes on holiday. Of course, <laughs> but I can't. I don't know why I can is something every time you say no, not this time. I'm going to travel light. I won't take lots of clothes, but when packing, I don't know why. What is going on here when packing? Because I take everything and I won't use them. You know, everywhere when I travel somewhere, I won't. It's just, you know, I take and take back something like, but yeah. it's something like I'm used to. I can say, 
I'm used to packing heavy when traveling and I can't do anything with it. Yes, me too. I agree yeah. with you that I am, um, um, I carry, I carry too much clothes with me, clothes and toiletries. Um, yeah, of course. Uh, but yeah. we, I don't, I didn't use them. Yeah, so yeah. I spent uh, experience about that. Uh, yeah. yeah. In some, uh, tra uh, sometimes, uh, in some traveling uh, trip, traveling a trip, trip journey, trip, trip. some trip journey, I uh, I have experience and I don't carry too much. Yeah, yeah. of course, uh, great, of course. Yeah. So you can control. I can't. Yeah, I can control. I can control. Yeah. I, I, I yeah. wear the same clothes. Uh, yeah. Maybe uh, two days for one. Set yeah, that's great. Days. That's great. You know, all the time I see, for example, I talk to myself and say, okay, don't do this. If you travel somewhere, it's okay. You can buy if you need. It's okay. Yeah. You don't need. If something essential, I don't know, emergency happens, you can buy something. But when packing, let's take it. <laughs> oh, that yeah. one is not. But no, I think, it, especially when you have kids, you know, especially when packing for kids, oh, this one is essential. That one is essential. For yeah. example, like this is too. But I think it's ability, skill. You know, it's a skill in you know, some people have, and we see that they only have one actually small baggage or luggage and nothing else or one backpack or something like this. And I think this is a skill and you need to be, as you said, you need to be experienced. Yeah, I I have a one thing to avoid. Yeah. When, uh, yeah, uh, when we, I prepare to travel that I uh, I don't have enough time to pack on things uh, before traveling. Uh, it make me always feel hurry. hurry. Oh, yeah, I don't have enough time to, to do all the things before traveling. Uh, why uh, other people they prepare all, but I am busy, only busy. Yeah, of course. So it's something like if you don't have enough time, so if for so example to pack everything, some. yeah, it's something like yeah, it makes you feel like you are in hurry. So of course, got it. Yeah. How I can how, how can I yep. use avoid? How how can I use avoid in that sentence? Okay. Uh, avoid in what same sentence you means? Avoid uh, repair. Avoid repairing. Uh, avoid pre in the short term. In the short term, yeah. Okay, so you need to avoid, for example. Avoid preparing okay so you want to say you mean this hastily it means too quickly in rush so you need to avoid preparing hastily it means you know just be patient and do it step by step not in hurry and do something too fast and when you do something hastily of course it makes you something like nervous yeah yeah. So if we don't have enough time we uh, to repair, we forgot. Uh, we for we will forget. Yeah. Many things with you. Of course, of you. course. So you can use different. You can use different words here. So hastily, or for example, hurried mm -hmm. or rushed. For example. Yes. Uh, and for example, when you do something rushed, when you do something rushed, it means you do this actually with curless spit. So something like too fast. So 
of course we make some mistakes and yeah. with number of errors so rushed or hastily both of them usable yes okay yeah okay okay and now let's listen and answer a few questions related to the audio track what do they always take on holiday okay uh, let me play this audio do you have any questions related to the structure grammar no okay great well unit nine let me check Unit 5, Re recording 3, 1. These days, we always expect to hear English in tourist areas. Most people working in tourism speak it, but I always want to talk to local people, and many of them don't speak English. No. So I try to learn a few words of the language, especially please and thank you, well, let me and I yeah. always take a small dictionary. Ah, uh, yes, it's okay. I'll always... Two. So it's okay. I love walking when I go on holiday because I think well, I think you see more. So I always take a really good pair of walking boots. Three. I think a good digital camera is important when you travel. I always seem to take hundreds and hundreds of photos and I also take binoculars. Four. When I'm not travelling for work, I usually choose to go to a warm place for my holidays, so I always take a sun hat. But when I go somewhere during the winter or rainy season, I always take waterproof clothes. Five. Uh, I think it's a good idea to buy a really good suitcase and when you pack, leave enough space for souvenirs. On the other hand, I enjoy travelling in wild places, so quite often I take a rucksack, not a suitcase. If you decide to go walking, a rucksack is much easier to carry. Six. It's best to avoid carrying too much money because you don't want to look like a rich tourist. Because of this, I always take a money belt on holiday. Seven. I need to write things down to remember them, so I take a notebook and pen. OK, well, the first one. The tourists should bring with them a uh, dictionary. Dictionary, of course, but now there, nowadays we have some actually translator and something like translating app, so it's yeah. okay. So we don't need to take dictionary. Yeah, very good. Number two. Um, number two. I forgot it. <laughs> ah, it's okay. So we can listen again. Just number three. Okay. Let's check. Number three. Uh, they take a uh, digital camera. Digital camera, of course, to take some photos. Digital camera and now number we have a smartphone. Of course, yes. But you know, it depends. Uh, some people actually are really uh, professional and they want to have some professional photos. So, of course, they take some cameras, you know, different cameras, but you know, with professional lenses. But now, nowadays, of course, you know, iPhones and Samsung, of course, so they take very good photos. So, we don't need. And number four. Number four. They take, uh, she, she takes a uh, sun hat and yeah. Yeah. it's like a booth, booth, booth. No, it was, it was about the waterproof. It was about the second uh, one, the second one walking boots. Yeah, the second one walking boots and four, as you said, sun hat and waterproof clothes. 
So uh, uh, we will listen again. So no worries. We will just we will check she, the answer. She checked three. She checked three things there. I heard. Same I heard about number four. I heard uh, sun hat and waterproof clothes. I heard this too. Yeah. Yeah. Waterproof. Yeah, what a proof. So I heard something like this. And yes. about number five. By suitcase. suitcase Very good. Uh, rock set. Yeah, rock, rock, rock set. set. Yeah, of course. It's rock something set. like backpack. Backpack. Uh, so set. it's not, yeah, not luggage or baggage. So rock set, it's backpack. Okay. Uh, can you try to the of set? course of course of course why not rock set well okay yeah rock sack it's kind of backpack that you normally use for traveling okay yeah. well so do you want to listen again? Do you want to listen again to check the answers? No. Yeah. Of number course. Six. So number six. Oh, bring, oh, number sorry. six. The uh, we uh, she brings money. Cash maybe money. I think cash. Belt. Money belt. Bell. Money belt. Yeah, of course. What, so what normally we yeah, let me say uh, we normally have some, for example, if you want to if you want to carry uh, money, we normally have our wallet. So we put our money in wallet, but sometimes you have a belt and of course mm -hmm. you can wear it. Yeah, of course you can wear it and you can put your money in it so it's safe. Normally when you want to visit somewhere, of course, it's hard to take your wallet. So it's really good to use a belt mm -hmm. money. Belt. Yeah. Yeah. That's the main money belt. Yeah, the of belt course. If you, you bring her and yeah. Of course, uh, of course. So it's a kind of belt, of course. With of course, it can pockets and for carrying. Yeah, you can usually wearing concealed or something like this, and it's really easy and to. And the number seven, number seven. I can don't. I don't get it. Okay, so let's listen. Just wait. Let's listen to check the answers. Unit and five. Number seven, I would say. Recording three. One. These days, we always expect to hear English in tourist areas. Most people working in tourism speak it, but I always want to talk to local people, and many of them don't speak English. So I try to learn a few words of the language, especially please and thank you, and I always take a small dictionary. Two. I love walking when I go on holiday because I think oh, I think you see more. So I always take a really good pair of walking boots. Three. I think a good digital camera is important when you travel. I always seem to take hundreds and hundreds of photos and I also take binoculars. Four. When I'm not travelling for work, I usually choose to go to a warm place for my holidays, so I always take a sun hat. But when I go somewhere during the winter or rainy season, I always take waterproof clothes. Five. Uh, I think it's a good idea to buy a really good suitcase and when you pack, leave enough space for souvenirs. On the other hand, I enjoy travelling in wild places, so quite often I take a rucksack, not a suitcase. If you decide to go walking, a rucksack is much easier to carry. Six. It's best to avoid carrying too much money because you don't want to look like a rich tourist. Because of this, I always take a money belt on holiday. Seven. I need to write things down to remember them, so I take a notebook and pen. Mm, the seven is a notebook and a pen. Of course, because he needs to write down. And the second is a walking boots. 
Yeah, walking, walking boots, of course, walking boots. Yeah. Well, OK, and that's it. OK, so just we can complete this part using actually according to the audio track. Now let's complete this part. I try to learn what do you remember according to the audio? Uh, I try to learn. Because of this, actually, she carries um, dictionary it's because she tries to learn. I'm sorry. Um, the local, the local cannot, uh, the local people cannot speak in English. So the language, of course. Uh, the language. Try to learn, try for to example. Learn. Yeah, a few words of the language. A few words of the language. A few so. words of the language. Yeah, like, of uh, Thank you or sorry or please. Of course, yeah. of course, very good. And uh, the second one, she loves, because of this, she needs to wear walking boots. Um, she loves, uh, love to see more. Of course, when you love walking, you need to wear walking boots because you love walking. So she loves she love, walking. She loves walking. Yeah. 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 And number three, I take a lot of because I of take this. A lot of photos. Very good, of course. Number four, I usually spend my holidays mm -hmm. in. Uh, spend my holiday. Sun hat. In, in sun hat. Uh, no, no, what? In uh, sunny and um, in uh, winter and rainy season. So it's something like warm places because when you need sun hat and you need, for example, waterproof sunny. clothes or something like warm. In the sun. Yeah, warm places. So uh, warm places. Warm places. Warm and I sometimes travel in. I sometimes traveling in in. If you need, you can listen again. So it's okay. If you need, you can listen again and fill in the blanks. You need? No. No. <laughs> of course. So yes. <laughs> you can answer. You can help. Okay. Of course. I sometimes travel in wild places. Travel in wild oh. places. Why? And Does yeah, it? number six, I don't carry too much. I don't carry too much money. Of course, money. I write things down because I like to, to what? I like to, because I like to write. Right to memorize them, them, because, yeah. Memorize, yeah, to memorize. memorize them, to have them, of course, very good. Uh, to memorize, so, yes. To yeah. Memorize. Memorize. yeah, and that's it. Okay, very good. And we talked about traveling. Of course, there are lots of words that you need to learn, but later I will teach you other EDMs or phrases that you can use when traveling. Just the last thing about travel. The word travel doesn't need any verb like we go travel. We just travel. If you want to use go or take, go on a trip, go on a journey, take a trip take a journey, go on holiday. The preposition is on. We go on holiday, we go on vacation, we go on trip, but for travel, nothing. Okay, ah, it's so, okay, my dear mean, do you have any questions, any issues related to this part? Can you help me again, the number of five? Course. I sometimes travel in wild. Let me write travel in wild places. Wild, wild. Yeah, wild, like forest. Okay, so somewhere like this. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. Thank you. 
You're welcome. You're welcome. And thank you. Thank you for today. You're welcome. Have a great day and have fun with your guests and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank bye. you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.